how do I date when I'm still really good friends with my ex? This is a question that I received on my advice column. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue, everybody. I'm Susan McCord. I'm the host of the show. So let's talk about this for a minute. You've got an ex. You've decided that you're not going to be with each other anymore, but you still hang out on a regular basis. So what does this do? This tarnishes your chances of meeting somebody else. First of all, you're spending so much time with them, so it's keeping you from meeting other people. And two, your feelings are probably still somewhat there. Because why are you hanging out with them? Why are they still your buddy when you've decided that you're no longer going to be romantic with them? It's time to move on. It's not time to hang out with them so that it sabotages any chance of having time to meet a romantic partner. So there's nothing wrong with being friends with your ex. I'm not telling you to hate everybody that you, you've had a relationship with. But you need to give it some time. You broke up, give it some time that you can put yourself out into other scenarios where you can meet somebody else. Or at least just have time to yourself and maybe with your friends to get them out of your head. Because it's very easy to say to yourself, well, you know what, we're still friends, so this is really cool. You know, this is great, we're still friends, and I'm, I'm moving on slowly. You're not really moving on when you've still got them in your life on a constant basis. Be friends with them later. Take a, take a year or something like that and see them sporadically, but don't make them your, your best friend after you've broken up with them. Because there's still a part of you that's invested. Even if you think you're over them, you're still invested somewhat with them if they're still in your life to this caliber. So you really want to take some time away from them or really have boundaries on how much you see them. So even if you meet somebody, say you have a few dates and you're still seeing your ex all the time and you feel uncomfortable because you think, oh God, you know, now I've got to tell them I'm on a date or if I start to like somebody and it's going to make them uncomfortable. So you get yourself into this place with them that it, you don't know what you're supposed to say and what you're not supposed to say to them because you have this really unique friendship, okay? I'm not even knowing if you're friends with benefits. But the point is you're confusing yourself, you're confusing the new person you're bringing in if you are meeting people, and you're confusing your ex because maybe they feel by hanging out with you there's a chance to get back together. You have to be very clear on what you want with your ex if they are in your life. And as I said a minute ago, you need to have some boundaries as to how much you see them because this is something that will confuse everybody and it will stop you from finding love because of what you're worrying about your ex. How are they going to feel about it? And, and vice versa, they might feel the same way about meeting somebody when they're seeing you all the time. It really puts a lot of complications in the air. It really does. So if you've made a decision to break up and you're both on the same page with it, take some time away from each other to get your new life in order. Don't keep everything as if you've never broken up and you're still hanging out all the time. Give yourself time to mourn your breakup, grieve, grieve your breakup, and be buddies later if that's what you really want. But don't spend all your time with your ex. It just isn't, it's not worth it. Otherwise you may as well stay together. Why'd you break up? Anyway, little rant. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below the video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna kill that crow. Thanks everyone.